Okay, so where to start? First of all, you can use any loom that has at least 85 to, well, we'll say any loom from 80 to 90 pegs because your personal gauging will make a difference. I'm actually going to be using 83 pegs on my 3 8 gauge 88 peg loom, um, a doll hat loom from Cindy Wood Looms, which of course the link for that will be in the description below. First thing you need to do, and trust me, you will not regret doing this. It is a little time consuming though. You need to swatch. Get your loom. Ah, you can see I was playing around, just trying to figure out what pattern I was going to do. So I was playing around some different stitches. But here's what you need to pay attention to. The main body of this project, the stitch you will be using the most, is the flat stitch, which I will, of course, go over that. So you need to know how big your gauging is. So you knit up a piece and I actually used a basic cast off because I can actually unravel this, unravel this whole thing and reuse this yarn so I'm not wasting anything. But basically what we for the bunting we need a piece that is 14 inches wide and roughly 50 inches long. If it varies a little bit in either direction you will be fine but that's just kind of a standard measurement. So what we need, which let me zoom in so I can kind of show you on here. I do have other videos to show you how to gauge, but I'm just going to show you real, real quick. We need to know how many stitches, which each of these stitches, that's a peg on the loom. So how many pegs you have to cast on to make one inch. And we need to know, oops, how many rows make one inch. So I have a ruler here. There are different gauges you can use. This one has... A magnifier in it so I like that because it makes it easier for me to see so I hold it down I hope you can see it. I've got it the line right here in between the stitches so I got one two three four five and six I'm getting just about six it's just a hair actually if I move over it makes it exactly six but I'm getting roughly six stitches per inch widthwise now lengthwise, these ones can be a little harder to measure, um, but if you're getting six wide, you'll probably be getting about the same long, which I was getting 11. Let me double check my notes. No, I was getting 10. So I was getting 10 stitches, so that's 10 rows that are six stitches wide will give you one square inch. So now that you know that, you can actually cast on. 